Good morning, everyone. This is Lisa Listen with LisaListen.com and the blog Are You My Cousin? Today's Tuesday, so it's time for another genealogy tip of the week. So today I want to talk to you about how to prepare for your courthouse research trip. Now, researching at local county courthouses is one of my favorite, favorite ways of researching. Um, you just find some of the most unusual types of information there, as well as get to meet some of the local people um, who have a really great knowledge of the um, local community, um, both there in the town as well as out into the outlying parts of the county. So I really encourage you, if you haven't had a chance to, to do local county research, to go out and do that if possible. But there are some tips and tricks that will help make your day go a little smoother when you're researching it outside in the community. You want to one, find out what are the hours that are the courthouse is open. Find out what's available and when you can have access to those records. That's pretty important to know. But the, above that, go a little bit further and I would actually call and ask them what is the best day of the week to do your research. You want to avoid days that the court is in session for obvious reasons. The courthouse is going to be much busier, wait times might be a little bit longer, etc. But what I found out in one case, in the case of Halifax County Courthouse in Halifax County, Virginia, is that on Thursday and Fridays, they have a man there who is dedicated to helping genealogists with their research. Now you can imagine this saves tons of time in just finding the records. If you're new to a courthouse and not sure exactly where within the courthouse the records are kept, just having someone who can point you in the right direction um, can really save you a lot of time and get you going on your research a little bit quicker for the day. The other thing you want to find out is if there are any fees involved and if you're allowed to take digital photographs or a digital scan, a little of the portable scanners, some courthouses still do not allow that and are only allowing copies to be made by the county courthouse staff. So that's just something to kind of know a little bit ahead of time and to kind of plan for if, if needed. And lastly, what I would recommend is to ask what records do they still retain at the courthouse level? Again, using Halifax County Courthouse as an example, they've retained all the records for the county since the county formed back in the 1700s. Now, neighboring county, Mecklenburg County, Virginia, did not. They have many of the original records from early Mecklenburg County, but for instance, the chancellery records, the early chancellery records, the early court records for Virginia, have been sent up to the Library of Virginia. Some of the early bonds, um, have been sent up to the Library of Virginia as well into that archive system. So you want to find out which records. If the records that you're looking for, the ones that you're interested, are they actually at the courthouse? You don't want to make an unnecessary trip um, if, if you don't need to. When you might be able to just find the um, microfilm versions, you can order those from the Library of Virginia, or maybe you need to go to Richmond <laughs> if you, instead. So check out those questions. See how that goes and plan your next trip. I would love to hear if you've got some other great tips for doing courthouse research. Please leave a comment below. I would love to hear some more. Maybe we can share these tips and really help people make um, the most of their county research trips. That's all. Have a great day. Bye.